After the wait of few months, Minimax has released yet another banger. This time, they have come up with this new M2 agent which seems quite impressive. This is yet another open source model designed for efficient coding and agentic workflows. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. In this video, we are not only going to learn all about this model, but we'll, we will be testing it out live. You can also test it out on their website and I will drop the link in video's description. You can see that they already have upgraded to the newly released Mini Max M2. This is what console looks like. There is no dark mode, unfortunately, but let me give it a coding prompt where I am asking it to create me a self-contained HTML file where an animated cartoon character is playing soccer and there are a lot of other stuff it is happening. Let's run it to see what it creates. This model is a mixture of expert model with 230 billion total parameters though only 10 billion are active at any given time. This makes it quite powerful and resource efficient and it delivers high level reasoning. So let's see what sort of code it generates in this case. While it does that, let me also introduce you to our very good friends at Gradient. The team at Gradient has open sourced Parallax, which is a distributed model serving framework that lets you build your own AI cluster anywhere using heterogeneous hardware, including NVIDIA and Apple Silicon. Parallax is not just another local LLM runner. It is a path to open intelligence, providing a system to run large AI models like Quen3, 235 billion locally or across geographies without relying on expensive cloud providers. Think of Parallax as a sovereign AI operating system that puts user in control, not uploading everything to a giant centralized cloud. Context that your AI learns about you should, should live as a portable local memory you control and users are not locked into single model. You will also find their link in video's description. Okay, let's check it out. The code is done. Nice. Okay, so let me open it in the browser and show you what code it has created. So this is a file which I already have opened. And again, it would really help if they could provide us a dark mode. My apologies, there is no option available anyway. So this is a code which I have opened. I am just pressing the space bar. And now I am moving this cartoon character. And you can see that it is not bad at all. It is playing soccer. Of course, I can do multiple operation. Another thing, if, if I just, you see, when it strikes a goal, it also, you know, there are some uh, confetti and if you just press it two times, it just goes very fast. And you can also change the direction. Let me move under it. Physics is not bad because you, if you took, check at the rebound, that's quite good. Speed, there is acceleration, not bad at all. Very nice. And the color gradients are also quite good. Okay, so I think I would say pass in the very first shot. There were a lot of things which I was asking it to do. And it is also correctly checking all the goals which I have struck so far. So pretty nice. And if you want to check out the code, you can just click on current process. And it just creates this code in your workspace at that hosted stuff nice okay let's go with a new task or new chat let me try another one okay let's see how much creative this new agent is so in this one i'm asking it what is life and then various philosophers has said this apparently dostoevsky says it sells socrates says it's a test and so on and so forth there are a lot of um, other philosophers and this one says that it's membership to the channel and then I'm asking it now tell me what would above philosopher say about following what is wife so I just change this life to wife and then all these philosophers let's see what model says here let's run this should be fun 
takes a bit of a time and then if I just look at the thinking process, it is quite intelligent. You see, I'll just open the thinking process. So it says the user is asking me to complete a humorous philosophical comparison where they present what various philosophers might say about life and wife. They have already provided examples for life. You see, the understanding is really, really good. And that has impressed me a lot about this model so far. Because not only this is a lot allowing the model to dynamically activate only the most relevant experts for each task where you can see that it has enhanced specialization and throughput. So it is talking about creative writing, it has identified thought and then this is what it is telling me. Dostoevsky says it's a responsibility, Socrates says it's questioning, Aristotle friendship, Nietzsche overcoming, projection, relativity, and okay so what this one has said is my manager not far from reality it says each response captures the essence of their philosophic philosophical worldview applied to the concept of marriage maintaining the witty format for the of the original so pretty nice okay so now let's check the multilinguality i'm just going to ask it to translate this sentence Chasing certainty is like grasping at waves and then there are various languages. And then I'm also asking you to convert it into fictional language, elder for Thark ruins, and also a cultural note for any three languages. And if you are that language speaker, please help me out with the translation. And if you don't find your language here, just tell me in the comments and I will include your language too. And the model has started producing the result. I'm actually quite fascinated about its, you know, thinking or reasoning, the how it is step by step chaining it together because it has identified there are 50 plus languages and it's a comprehensive translation task. And then it is just going through it, understanding what the task is. And this is where it has done the translation. So again, I'm just going to quickly check uh, with my notes, but please also let me know. So far, I think visually checking looks quite good to me, but I would take your advice on that one. I'm just scrolling through. Urdu is quite good. Even the font it is displaying is pretty nice. I'm not sure about Indonesian. Please let me know what do you think. And these are the additional languages. Turkish is there, Tagalog and a lot of other languages from across the world. I'm just scrolling through and many of them are look quite look good to me, but there are a few mistakes here and there, but mostly they are quite okay. And there are a lot of them and it has also identified what Elder Futhark is and these are some of the cultural notes. That is actually quite nice, all of them. And it is also telling us that for some of the less commonly translated languages, these translations represent reasonable linguistic approximation. So model is quite honest too. Okay, finally, let me also check how exactly it does roastering, which is a real world task. So I'm asking it that we need a lead scientist and a technician for two parallel science workshops every Sunday afternoon. And then this workshop is focused on robotics, the other one explores marine biology and then it is just talking about you know these guys are available on these dates and these are the technicians and they have to work together and they don't some of them don't work well together so it just needs to create a detailed staff schedule for next one month so i'm just going to run this and while it runs let's check out these benchmarks which look quite impressive so <clears throat> Across multiple industry standard benchmarks, this has shown strong all-around performance, especially in coding, reasoning, and multi-step tool use. The model ranks among the top models globally for open source intelligence and coding capabilities, as you can see. Like if you check out the SWE bench and terminal bench, it has performed at a high practical level, handled real-world developer tasks such as debugging and repo editing, on agentic and reasoning evaluations like uh, Gaia, BrowseCamp, 
or FinSearch Comp, it has demonstrated reliable web browsing, data retrieval, and multi-step reasoning. So overall, it combines speed, intelligence, and I would say deployability. You know, I think one of the good models I have seen in the few days, but there are a lot of them, as you already are aware. And it is analyzing on the other side. This is a schedule in Markdown format. I think I would need to open it in the Markdown because it's not displaying it here, which is okay, fine. So let me see. If this is a current, I will just check the current process. That is a good one. And if I quickly go through it, this is a preview. Very nice. This has been canceled because those are not available and they don't go well together. And then detailed daily assignments. It goes on and on and on. This, these are the unavoidable cancellations. Very nice. So only 30% cancellation rate, which is really, really good. And then there is text one too in the markdown. So look, I would again say very impressive model. No doubt about that. Unfortunately, it's a huge model. Cannot install it locally, but you now know what this model is and what it can do. If you're interested in the previous Minimax models, just go to my channel and search with Minimax. I have been covering their model for a long time, as you can see here. That's it. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.